is a really big fountain. What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here, coming to you all from the beautiful Disney Springs. It's very hustling and bustling, not gonna lie. To be, but to be honest, the last time I was here, I was about eight years old. And none of this was here. But anyway, guys, this is the beginning of my family road trip series. We will be going through Orlando, the land of Adam the Woo, Jackie from Super Enthused, Tampa J. I've already met Tampa J and Adam the Woo. But anyway, long story short, we are going to check out Disney Springs. Follow along, join me. It's gonna be a fun one. Anchor down. Oh, wow, you guys, this is so freaking awesome anyway i think the very first thing that we're going to check out is we are going to check out lego land dude just check out this lego thing of mickey now i think this is a copy or i won't say a copy but this is a uh, build of the recent show that burned not too long ago i forgot what that was called exactly but that is made entirely out of legos down from the bottom up to the very top that must have taken quite a long time and of course we have the serpent here or serpent dragon thing i guess this has been here a very long time this was here the last time i was here which goes to show i think that's probably pushing about 20 years dude <laughs> and it has not changed one bit although i think the uh the lego looks like the color has faded a little bit now I will say this is all new. Actually, this is my first time seeing it. But these are life-size builds of the Star Wars characters from uh, The Last Jedi, The Force Awakens, and uh, oh yeah, The Rise of uh, Skywalker. Anyway, people have their, their mixed reviews and their mixed uh, opinions on it. But in the meantime, just check out these works of art. Especially check out that Kylo Ren. <laughs> that is all solid Lego. It's like he's he's like doing a force pull onto my soul and I know I got that wrong. Luckily, this isn't a real Kylo. Well, it's a Lego Ren. I don't know if it's a full Lego Ren thing. Anyway, check out the Chewbacca. Now I'd say this Chewbacca is about life size. He looks like he stands about a good seven feet tall, which is really, really impressive. But I think probably one of the most impressive things that they have here at the Lego shop here in Disney Springs is this life size dragon and one of the Lego characters fighting the dragon. Like imagine, this could just be a regular statue, but no, all of this is made out of nothing but Legos. I mean, just check out the size of the dragon with the fire blast and the Lego guy fighting the fire blast. Also there, uh, we have all the pre or all the thorns and whatnot. And so it has begun, you guys. We have made it inside the Lego store at Lego. Oh, check out this uh this ad at that they have by the way this one you can own for a grand total of 849 dollars i believe that's an ad at i think yeah it's an ad at the big one and they even have an atst that reminds me of a lot of memes i've seen memes of some guy in a cardboard box doing that and it's kind of weird oh yeah we also have the indoor speeder scene. And actually, I own this R2-D2. I've, I've built one of those before. I don't think I've ever made a video on it, but it is really cool. And here in this little display right here, we have the Emperor's Throne Room. Yes, where uh, Darth Vader loses his hand for a second time. Oh yeah, and we have Jabba the Hutt's Palace. Can't forget Jabba the Hutt's Palace. It's very important. You are not a true Star Wars fan if you do not know about it. Drop the Hutt's Palace. And here in this case, they have a Nano Gauntlet. Kind of like the Infinity Gauntlet, but different. Made pretty similar to Iron Man. There we go, Iron Man. And we also have Star-Lord's Helmet. And we have a Baby Groot. Tell me that isn't sweet. 
Also, they have some larger stuff as well from the MCU here at this Lego shop. They have one for $250. That's from the Infinity Saga. Um, I think that's from the Sanatorium, I think. And oh yeah, we also got the, the Daily uh, Daily Bugle. That's Spider-Man. And dude, this is actually pretty cool. Check this out. You take this. Let's see if I can't get it to work. Um, oh, there we go. See, it builds a Lego set. Like, because it's the car. You can see the little car right there. <laughs> now that is something that you do not say, see every day. Oh, this is sweet. They have some bigger stuff that uh, are from Star Wars. Although, I know I already showed this to you guys. But y'all gotta see what this looks like when it's put together all the way. Look how freaking large that is. I mean, seriously. Within that plexiglass case. If I had the money to do that, I would. And now there's actually an interesting story with this one. I've been wanting to buy one of these for a while. I think it's usually for about 250 bucks and you can get them at Target. But now that I know what it looks like in the case, I'm honestly thinking, I think I am gonna buy one of those. Or this Pac-Man machine. Check this out. This can be yours for 270 bucks. I wonder how many man hours that would take to put that together. Kudos to you if you could put that together. Kudos. And they do have a Bowser here. I've been wanting to put one of these together as well. Um, I know that they have these at my local Target. That's gonna be another thing for a rainy day. But because of the Super, because of the Super Mario movie, it just made me want to buy one of those. Future vlog, everyone. Maybe not so much future vlog. I'm not sure yet. Now here's some of the stuff that I really, really dig. Check this out in this display case right here. For about $400, you can put together a piano. Or if you had about $630, you could build the Eiffel Tower. Tower. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. There we go. Now this one I've already built. I'm not gonna lie, I loved it. And honestly, when I first bought it, I don't know why. I thought about that episode of Family Guy when Peter bought the shuttle. And if you had like $670, you could buy this giant Titanic Lego set. All of that is all true, blue, down to the wire. And just dude, this this thing is like over 9,000 pieces. And by the way, if you all are curious, here is that lighthouse. Again, that's probably going to be another one of those things that I do eventually want to get. Oh my god, you have to see this. This is so awesome. They have a Lego Spider-Man. Oh my goodness, that is epic. Really, really cool. I mean, look. Solid Lego. Solid Lego. All this. Solid Lego. Solid Lego. That. <laughs> so much, yes. Okay, onwards to the next shop. All right, you guys, we are now here in the world of Disney. And Lily's found herself some enamel pins. Yeah. My dad? Huh? Lily's found some pins. What you find, Lily? Pins. Starter set. Well, I don't know, Lily. I, I think you've got more than, than, than a starter set. You've got, like, the whole shop on your back. Well, this is kind of cool. We have... S'mores. It is a s'mores stuffed animal thing. I think it's like a munchling or something. And while we're on the topic, did you know that Disney recently turned 100? And speaking of that, on top of that, check out that really awesome statue of Mickey. I think it has to be made out of plexiglass. Oh well, no. Oh, what do you call it? I can't think of what it's called. Um, anyway. It'll come back to me somehow, somehow. And by the way, you guys, for all you enamel pin lovers out there, we also have some big Mickeys as well. Also, you can have more start of a starter set within the pin trading world. 
Kind of reminds me of like the trading card game world community. A lot of power creep. Well, you guys, looks like you can buy some bunny ears here at the World of Disney. Like these old school Mickey Mouse. I think that's an old school Mickey Mouse. I think. I What'd you just drop, Lily? Your mom. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on. I wanna check this out. I probably won't put it all the way on. Oh, wait. It's not an older version of Mickey Mouse. I apologize, it's Oswald. But anyway, yes, I got that wrong. So that's besides the point. Yay, go Disney. Woo! I'm not going to do that again. That's the one time that you'll see that on this channel. Oh my God, you guys. They have pirate hats. Yes, it leads me to this perfect dad joke. Why did the, or which movie, or which type of rated movie did the pirate go see at the movie theater? He went to go see the one that was... Rated R. There we go. I just like the emblem on that. <laughs> that is awesome. It, I'm honestly not focused on it right now. Dude, I am absolutely enamored with this place. I think this is like one of the main hubs for the Disney stores. That is so cool. It's got like the old school Disney, or the old school Disney cartoon characters. And of course you have Cinderella's Castle. I think honestly, if, if I collected this kind of stuff, I would just buy it on its own merit and just have it stored somewhere. Cause that's, re that's a really, like in terms of like collecting, that's a pretty cool collective piece. <laughs> By the way, this is really cool too. Uh, there is a, well, a drawing. There we go, a drawing of the Disney characters. Now I'm just looking overhead right now. Well, look at the colors of the rainbow that they have here in the main uh, auditorium. There we go, the main auditorium. And also we have another illustration. And the most, the biggest driving source of income in the state of Florida. And oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, I wonder how much, yes, you can buy an actual Darth Vader helmet, like a big job too. Where you started, buddy? I found Darth Vader's helmet, Dad, check this out. That's alright. I don't know, I'm not sure how much they are though. I think I'd get in trouble with one of those though. Okay. Dad's trying to find the price on it. Find a price on it, Dad? Sure don't see it, son. Well, it's free. I like that. Free. Free, free, free. And I really like the firefly effect that they have out here at the springs. It definitely makes you feel like you're out in the middle of the wilderness in central Florida. God, I miss I miss living here. Those were the days when I lived on my sailboat out along the St. John's River. And I'll tell you, these lights really make me think about that. They make me think about home. And I'll be dipped, you guys. The one thing that they have from when I was a kid, they still have it to this day. They have the toy train here at Disney Springs. Gosh, this train has been around since I was a kid. Just watch it go around and around. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm taking a trip down memory lane. And once you have it right beside the toy train, they have the Star Wars trading post. So let us make the descent into more Disney products. Yes, Disney, the great media creator that has taken up a large, large portion of our lives. But that's not the point. And the first thing that I see when I get in here, it looks like you can build your own lightsaber. I'm guessing. Looks like you can put a lightsaber together. Kind of looks like it's a mini one. Looks like you'd cut butter with it. But also, check out some of these droid action figures. I think these might actually be... These might actually be Disney uh, exclusives. Probably not. More than like, just forget what I said that. Yes, just forget what I said there. That, that one guy's looking at, or is giving me the, the eye. And because we are in the trading outpost, they have a lot of these. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yes. R2-D2. 
Oh, gosh, I gotta quit that. That's I am scaring people out of my channel. But all 5,300 of you guys still love me. <laughs> I really like this store display. This is cool. Check this out. Here in this box, you have a little itty bitty droid. Gotta press it. And, well, nothing's happening. And I feel like I would just get in trouble if I had that right there. Just saying. So, it is said that after the Empire fell, and most of Darth Vader's body was destroyed, they still kept his head. Mostly because Darth Vader had a great head on his shoulders. I, I think it's funny. Or, he's, he's got a head of people. And these paintings are really, really cool. I love the art, or the C-3PO. Or the battle between, um, I'm guessing that's an Imperial cruiser and, oh gosh, Millennium Falcon. There we go. Don't judge me. I forgot briefly in my life's existence. Dude, check these out. Check out these statuettes. They have Darth Maul. They have a bus of Yoda. Of course, Darth Vader. Can't go wrong with Darth Vader. And look, they even have like personal like props of a lightsaber just look how beautiful those are i imagine they're extremely expensive though or you could get uh, darth vader's imperial palace did you know that he had got it like after he burned up on mustafar he got himself a castle on mustafar there he i guess really um obi-wan really burned him on that one. Oh my goodness I saw this on YouTube, but this is where you can build a personal lightsaber. Check that out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I, I like this one right there. That's, that looks pretty neat. Oh yeah. And they also have the dark saber. And right as I walked outside of the Star Wars trading post, they have a miniature carousel. They got a spinny cup right there, but it's like there's a group of group of people that are enjoying that. Just as much as I enjoy my Disney hat, my R2-D2 mouse hat. I like it, but at the same time, I don't know. It's like, I know I look, the word's not stupid, but I don't care. This is nice. I, I like this. But alas, you guys, this is going to be the end of this vlog. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It always means a lot. Go to show that y'all care and that y'all want to see more awesome videos. By the way, guys, I have one more video coming from uh, that. I have one more video coming from Disney Springs that I'm gonna. I think y'all are going to love, especially if y'all love dinosaurs. It's really cool. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you like the video. Always means a lot. Go to show that y'all care. So, without further ado, you guys, this vlog. Is up.